Okay, now uh, video 2.0, uh, which is well the sequel to the, my previous video, is why I've installed net time. Well, I had a problem with my virtual machines having their own time. Um, I know that uh, it sounds <laughs> um, insane, yeah, insane would be the word, but uh, uh, for example, I synced, uh, so at my work uh, I have uh, uh, I have a Windows server like this one, such as this one, and it uh, syncs with uh, uh, and creation NTP server. Okay, now and it's in sync. Okay, so every every other server syncs to the to that server. So syncs to this server. For example, this is server 2012. So everything syncs to it. But after it syncs, for some reason, after one minute, it skips two minutes ahead, and it is like. Uh, it was driving me crazy. I didn't know what was the problem. At first, I thought maybe it was something with the server. The, ser the server I have at my work is online for, I don't know, three years, and uh, before that it was restarted. I don't know due to an update or something like that. Long story short, um, we do not update that much, but we have our reasons. Um, so um, the problem was that uh, uh, I, I actually went insane. The problem was that uh, my uh, I have a Negios, which is reporting software. It, it's Linux that mingle, mingles with everything. Um, so everything just s out of a sudden um, had a, a difference in time, uh, about two minutes. And even though I had uh, configured internet time to be synced to uh, my own server, everything didn't work. Now the problem turned out to be uh, we are using VMware ESXi which is this one at work and their NTP servers for some reason are two minutes ahead of ours go figure. So to configure it you have to go to your server and you have configuration and here you have date and time actually time configuration and here you can add NTP clients so you have general uh, the idea is that you have to, uh, first of all, you have to configure time um, manually. My time is obviously two hours ahead, whatever. So first you have to configure NTP time um, manually, then you have to add servers. So you click on options and you click on NTP settings and here you add NTP server, which is in my case read dot ntp dot carnet dot org and that's about it unfortunately um, for some reason <sighs> it still does not work okay so now this one is but at my work something is something strange is happening I did figure out in the end what was it but unfortunately I cannot <laughs> talk about it in this video um, so what you need to do is go to your um, uh, virtual machine. No, for example, I uh, I, ha I have a couple of uh, virtual servers. Well, I have a lot of. Believe it or not, we have actually 60 servers. And in here you have these VM tools. Now the older version actually had an option to do not sync. Unfortunately, <laughs> new one you get this copy crap. Nice. Now, what you need to do to disable um, this syncing. Now, bear in mind, you 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 have a GPO, you have a set up. I don't know. Even even in here, you have set up Internet Time to be synced with your own server. But unfortunately, VMware tools thinks no. Fuck you. I will be do I will be the one that's doing the syncing. So what you need to do is to enter the CMD and go to program files just a second okay program files files and you need to go to VMware sorry oh sorry I think it's program files maybe okay just a second I think it's uh, no okay dear uh, VM uh, v and you need to go to VMware you have to go to VMware tools and you need to type VM 
where toolbox CMD, okay, and then you have time sync, time sync, time sync, time sync status, and okay, here you have disabled, but in my case it was enabled, and it was enabled on my server. Mm. The figure. So what you need to do is write this. Oh, die, die would be nice. Uh, write disable and press enter and sorry this a and there you have it now once you n now once you write this command syncing will be disabled and your <coughs> own ntp server will be the one that's doing the syncing so uh, again um which if you if you if you want to leave um uh in your toolbox uh, to be the one that's uh, syncing you need to uh go to the CLI, actually SSH, and there configure um, NTP servers. However, that's a story for another video. I do hope you like this video, and uh, if you do, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. I know, my mic sucks. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you like this video, and uh, have a good day. Bye. Oh, stop.